Guess what? I love to make things. I bet you already knew that though. And when I make things, I like to use all kinds of different tools and materials, such as paint brushes, colored pencils, lots of different colored paper, and paints. Another tool I like to use is time. What? <laughs> yes, time, time limits, having deadlines, helps me make sure that I get things done. Otherwise, I could work on the same project forever because I love to draw and make things. But having time limits helps me get things done, but it also fuels my creativity. So for today's Making Space project, I thought we should make something really fast by limiting the amount of time that we work on it. For this project, you're going to need a partner. Uh, it could be anyone, a friend, a family member, maybe a pet. Baldwin, do you want to help me out with today's making space? No. Actually, no. Probably not a pet. I reached out to my friend, Mac Barnett, who was gracious enough to help me out. Uh, do you want to see what we made? All right, so here's what we're going to need for this project. I'm using one color. And with this one color, I'm going to create a picture. And I'm going to create this picture in one minute. So that's the challenge. I'm limiting my color and limiting the time in which I have to create something. When I'm finished with this picture, the plan is to share it with my friend, Mac Barnett, and he is going to write a story about this picture using just one sentence, and he's going to write it in one minute. So to illustrate the picture, yes, I'm only using one minute, but I had some time to think about the picture I wanted to create. Take as much time you need in deciding what to draw. Um, but limiting the time will kind of affect what sort of picture you make and how much time you spend on certain details, which I think can fuel your creativity. It, it kind of forces you to think differently. And here I am just about running out of time. All right. And so here is what I made. For whatever reason, I made a rhino running with a ribbon on its horn. All right, let's send this over to Mac and see what he does with the drawing. Check it out. I got some mail. Look, it said this took less than one minute to draw too. Whew. He's really good. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put up this rhino to inspire me. I'm gonna set this timer for one minute. And now I gotta get writing, don't peek. Let's give Max some time to work on his one minute, one sentence story inspired by a drawing that I sent him. A few days before, Mac actually wrote another story that he sent to me. So this project can work both ways. You can have a picture that inspires words, but you can also have words that inspire a picture. So the sentence says, the elephant and I had a staring contest, but I lost. <laughs> All right, so what can I draw with that sentence? Should we just go for it? All right, let's see. Let's put the timer on. Let's get some blue paint on my brush. And let's go. Ah, okay. So while I work on this drawing, let's check back in with Mac to see how his story turned out. And can you guess who Ms. Percy picked to lead the parade? It was me, me, me! So I used Christian's picture to launch me into the story. And when I write a story, I usually like to start with a character. Uh, have it be driven by how the character uh, is feeling, what the character's thinking, and, and how that character sounds when they talk. So I wrote in first person as the rhino, and the rhino looked so happy, so excited, look at that tail, and had this streamer. 
And it just reminded me of somebody like a dancer waving a baton with a streamer at the, uh, at the head of a parade. So I wanted to write a little story about a rhino getting picked to lead a parade. Yeah, okay. All right, and here's what I made. That's last. The elephant and I had a staring contest, but I lost. Today's art project was inspired by a book. Leo a Ghost Story, written by Mac Barnett and illustrated by me. When working on the pictures in this book, I chose to use a very limited color palette. I thought the story was kind of moody and blue, so I thought blue would be a good color to go with. But also, I wanted to see what would happen if I limited myself. Um, and what I found is that those limitations fueled my creativity. I could now focus on a whole bunch of other things because I wasn't worried about all the different colors I could use. I was able to focus on what the characters look like, what the backgrounds look like, and just able to have a lot more fun with the book. I want to make sure that someone out there gets a chance to win a free copy of this book. So basically, in order to enter to win, all you have to do is like this video, comment below, and I'll select one person to win a free copy of this book. I'll do this by supporting our local and independent bookshops, so either a bookstore in your town or mine, and I'll make sure that they send you a copy. To learn more about this book, I think we should hear from the author himself. So I'm actually expecting a call from him any moment. Ah, here he is. Hey, Mac, how's it going? Uh, hey, Christian, uh, I'm good, I'm good. So I'm curious, what inspired the story of Leo a Ghost Story for you? Well, Leo was really inspired by a book I love called Madeline. Um, and that book is just all about Madeline. That's the most important thing that happens in it is that we get to know Madeline. Uh, so I wanted to write a story that was just about a character, but I thought, well, maybe instead of a kid, it would be a kid ghost, because I've always loved ghost stories. Also, do you find that limits sometimes help fuel your creativity, like they did for me when I was making the pictures? No, I, I love limitations when I'm writing. In fact, I think that's probably a big reason that I like to write picture books, because when you're writing a picture book, uh, you only get so many pages to tell the story with. You can only put so many words on a page before it gets really boring. And if you're just writing the words in a picture book, you shouldn't spend a lot of time describing what people or places or things look like, because that's the picture's job. So you have to figure out what else to do. Thank you for joining us today, Mac. Bye, and bye everyone at home. Thank you for making space for fun, for creativity, and just being together. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.